So Peace Coffee is a 100% Minneapolis company. We were founded here. Um, we roast and deliver out of our offices and warehouse on the south side, bought it off the Greenway. Fair trade is about paying a fair price for the coffee, but it's also about having direct, transparent, and long-term relationships with the farmers who grow the coffee. At Peace Coffee, we only sell certified organic coffee, and we do this because we believe that organics are better for the earth, they're better for the people who grow the coffee, and they're better for the people who drink the coffee. I think a lot of people support Peace Coffee because they like what the company is about, and they like the fact that the coffee is fairly traded, it's organic certified, and it's shade grown. Peace Coffee was founded in 1996 to show that fair trade could be a viable business model. As people realized that fair trade and quality coffee could be synonymous, our growth really took off. In 2001, we moved to the Green Business Center that we're currently housed in, and it's from here that we import, roast, and distribute all of our coffee. Our co-op accounts are really important to us, including one which is one of the largest co-ops in the entire country. But we're also really excited that we're in multi-store grocery chains all throughout the upper Midwest. I think other people buy our coffee because we're a local company. We're owned by a local nonprofit organization. It's not hard to make an argument to a Minnesotan about why they should buy from their homegrown Minnesota coffee company as opposed to a coffee company that has offices out on the West Coast. I'm pulling this trailer here because this is how we deliver coffee in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Deliver it this way year-round. Uh, we use bikes because it's uh, earth friendly, it's a green practice. I deliver to co-ops, coffee shops, and office buildings. There's some bike shops. When we started out, we couldn't really afford a delivery van. And uh, the first employees of Peace Coffee were really into biking. Peace Coffee is a great company to work for because all the employees um, receive living wages receive full health benefits, paid vacation, paid sick time. Um, I think the company really cares about its employees, cares about our happiness. All of our suburban accounts get their coffee delivered by our biodiesel van, which is another way that we're able to push alternative modes of transportation. Coffee is an extremely labor-intensive product. It takes a long time to grow. It takes about four years for one coffee plant to reach maturity. The least amount of steps, the higher the quality of the product. You know what I mean? And since we're cutting out a lot of middle people in those steps, I think that empowers us to have that much more control of what we're doing and to apply that much more love and technique and art to the bean to get a better product to then please the consumer a little better. Basically, when the coffee comes out, you're pulling it at a really high temperature. Uh, you want to, it's kind of like cooking vegetables. You want to just like cool it off as fast as possible or else it'll just continue baking and it'll affect the overall flavor. And there, our afterburner, oh, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it quick here. So we're hitting 420. We're going past 420 a little bit, which is okay. So we actually had a 417 drop. I'll adjust it a little bit. And it's actively graphing what that roast is doing. All roasters are different. We're more hands-on, you know, like you see, we do a lot of like using the eyeglass, just a check here and there. Yeah, now we're getting almost a toasty smell, almost as if like uh, when your toast is just starting to get a little color on it. So we have a really high quality bean. We have a roasting machine that its ratio of size to, to weight of green coffee that goes into it is a really good ratio for the highest quality coffee. We have three roasters that basically have been here for over, we're all more than a year, so we've all been roasting on the same machine. People here really like to buy local, um, really like to support these little sort of independent street businesses, and, and um, so I think we've got a lot of Minnesota character that way. Meeting the farmers, you know, knowing the farmer stories, you know what I mean, and being involved in a sustainable environment, you know, makes you want to, want to do the best you can for the farmers, for the customers. Same with that brings these clouds We'll carry them away So come along and walk beside Bring your umbrella, we'll bear the tide Find our sunshine deep inside And rest beneath these summer skies Summer skies